There is something in this sack that is absolutely amazing. Stay tuned to see what made my jaw hit the floor. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. I am back again at the Goodwill bins like always. Um, yeah, I'm way late today because I had to get a video posted. So if you haven't checked that out, go check it out. Um, also don't forget to subscribe to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. Um, go give this video a thumbs up and let's get going. It's another beautiful, breezy, gorgeous day here in Iowa. Loving it. Love the sunshine. It just makes me happy. And there's no carts, which I knew that there wouldn't be because I'm way late. <laughs> I don't care. It's going to be a great day. It's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Happy Valentine's Day. All right, we're going to start at the glass. We're going to start at the glass. Oh, it looks like they just brought out row 10. But I'm going to look in the glass. Because I always do and I don't have a cart. So I might have to share a cart. Look at that mushroom birdhouse. That's so cool. There's an elephant with jewels on it, made in China. It's really cute. Well, I might have to find a bag or something. Oh. I'm gonna get these. I'm gonna get these for mom. Oh, they're bringing out bins. Soft, three soft. I'm not going to it. I'm gonna stay right here so I can, um, hopefully somebody checks out soon so I can get their cart. That's got a chip on it. That's new. I see if mom still wants this because she's doing a gallery while she might hang this one up like this instead because it's got a crack in the mirror right there. But she does a gallery wall in her bathroom that has all hand mirrors. It's really neat. If I think about it, I'll have her take a picture and I will post it in this video. That's cute, little froggy. He goes into like a plant or something, I think. He'd be cute for a treasure bag. I'll probably get him and put him in a treasure bag. I'm gonna have to go find a, a cart, like I said, because these are cute. Okay, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so I have to show you guys. I got some stuff already, um, which I'll think about this. This is from Ben Franklin. This We don't have Ben Franklins around here anymore. Well, we used to, but not anymore. There's a top, an old top. It's got some wear to it. I don't know if I'm going to get that. We'll see. This I love. It's shell art. Look at the bird. It's got googly eyes. And then my friend, thank you, Josh. Found some stuff yesterday and hid it for me. So I got it today because it was still here. Those three things. And then I got some really cute things out of the glass bin. So little things. Yeah, not bad so far. Not bad, not bad. So now we're going to look into the hard. We're just going to look in here. Throw in the dark. 
from 1997. Might glow in the dark. I don't know. It's Valentine's Day. It's going to be a great day. That's really pretty. It's made in China, but still. Cute angel. Cute, cute. There's a baby face sewing purse so there's this shows me there is some there is some vintage there is some vintage there's an old doll there's a doll missing her head some more dolls oh she's adorable cute look at all these Somebody made them. These remind me of my grandma, you guys. All these dolls remind me of my grandma because she used to make stuck little crocheted stuff like that. There is a ton of them in here. There's the one that's missing its head. Here's more. They're not in the best shape. I just think they're adorable. Look at that. That's gonna go into like a linen bag or something. Son, oh my God, are you serious? Is this a joke right now? Yes, I will definitely take this. That is sick. You guys, that's amazing. I cannot believe he's still in here. I cannot believe that that Santa is still in here. I will sell Christmas like that all year round. He's a good one. Cute little pug, eh? And more dolls. Cute. Oh, I'm super happy about that Santa. That's pretty sick. Look at this vintage book. Junk Day on Juniper Street. <laughs> it doesn't have really cute graphics in it, so I'm going to leave it behind. But I just thought that was really fun. Because my channel, Junk to be Loved. Oh, he'll go into a treasure bag. That might go into a treasure bag. I like putting just random different things, you know, in treasure bags that catch my eye. I used to have a big, big collection of these sort of candles a long, long time ago. They sat on my fireplace, along the bottom of my fireplace, because it, it wasn't a real fireplace. It was a fake fireplace, but... It still looked nice. And then I got rid of them. TV boxing book. Lots and lots of books in this one. It's hard to dig in. And and there's books in here.
dangerous days. There's some old books in here today. A bunch of beads. Plastic beads. I do not feel like sitting there digging through all these plastic beads today. That's a pretty necklace, actually. It's a vintage necklace. I'll stick that in there. But just the beads, no. There's all kinds of little things in here. There's an old marble. I'll put that in there. But that's going to have to actually go into the cup. Bunch of hardware. Little monkey. Oh, there's a, a troll back here. Troll. That'll go into a treasure bag. There's more marbles. Oh my gosh, I'm jumping in the bin. My behind is sticking up in the air. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. Skulls and bones. He's off a of Lion King, I remember. reaching this far. I can't, I can't do it. You would go before. Oh, go Petey. He is like our Goodwill mascot. He is the best dog ever. So, so sweet. Petey. Oh, what a perfect book to find on Valentine's Day. You're in love, Charlie Brown. It's in rough shape because I'm going to leave it behind, but happy Valentine's Day. Nice seeing you. Nice seeing you too. Bye, Sanchez. What? You're not leaving? You just got here? Lassie. Hummingbird feeder. Why does it have that thing loose in there? Mm, I'm leaving it. I don't know if mom needs any more or not. My mom puts up hummingbirds and hummingbird feeders, and in the sum, spring and summer, she gets a lot of hummingbirds. It's so pretty. That is a good movie. Another good one to watch on Valentine's Day. Just in time. They are taking away hard. Gonna bring out some new goody treasures. Okay, super, super busy here. So busy. It's crazy. It's like you just gotta find a spot to be able to squeeze into and dig. Like Disney princesses, Frozen, a surfboard. It's just crazy, insane here. I'll take that. That's a Forbes.
bunch of dolls in here. All kinds of stuff. But it's hard to look when there's this many people here. Jim is still here or not. I'll see if Jim is still here. There's Petey. Hey, Petey. Petey. Oh, my goodness. Talk about a flashback. Trapper Keeper. These were so fun when I was in school. I loved it. And this one's still nice. This is vintage. I remember there was one time that these sold, but it's not. This... The front part's in a little rough shape. I remember one time those, the vintage Trapper Keeper sold for decent money. I don't know if they still do or not. It's been a long time since I've looked them up. This is really, really cute, but it's missing its blocks or whatever was on it, but that's adorable. I like that. It's new. It's still cool. There's a candle. Tea time. Oh my goodness. These are vintage scratch on stickers. The scratch and sniff. Okay, I'm gonna have to look very carefully at this one to see if there's any more stickers. Be cool if I found more. This is really, really cute. It's a pulley and it holds pots. Like, see? I really like that. That's really cool. So I'll be taking that. I didn't find any more stickers. Any more scratch and sniff, scratch and sniff stickers, unfortunately. I was hoping I would have found more sheets of them. Those are new back there. Oh, we're missing some. Missing most of them. See, these ones are new. Oh, yes, look at it, look at it. They're taking away gloves. They're taking away glass. Gonna bring out some new glass. This is my favorite ones of the day. Oh my goodness. Happy Valentine's Day to me. Look what a guy just gave me out of the box. Oh my God, you guys. This is freaking amazing. Amazing. And look, a big hug mug. Found a big hug mug. And then I might get this too. It's really pretty. But maybe not, because it's from Von Mar. I don't know. All right, well, we made it out of there and spent a total of $34. Not too bad. Um, I got some really, really amazing things. I'm super excited. So let's get right into the haul. Oh my goodness, that was a great day. It was a good, good day at the Goodwill Bins. Not too crowded. And I got some good stuff. So let's get into it. Like I said, $34 I spent. 
Um, I picked up this set for my mom. I don't know if she'll want the brush or not. I'll just go ahead and give it to her because it's a, it's a set. It's a matching set. Um, and she does a gallery wall with these. So if I like, if I said, if I think about it, I will have her send me a picture and I will post it. Um, so you guys can see. I picked up that set and then I picked up this. Oh my goodness. Look at the shell art, dude. So fun. It's like a little duck or a bird or something. I like his big nose and his googly eyes and his little flower. <laughs> so cute. So that came home with me. Um, this I picked up. It is a Royal Staffordshire, like a bone dish sort of thing. It's made in England. Very, very, very pretty. No chips or cracks. And so I picked up that beautiful dish. I picked up a bunch of smalls. There's a bunch of smalls. So I, this is really cute. It's like a ceramic frog. I think it goes into a flower pot or something, but he's adorable. So he came home with me. This owl I thought was really, really neat. It's, I don't know if it's made out of soapstone or what, some sort of white stone and it's got red eyes. So I just thought that was really fun. This little single shaker, it is a redware pottery. I only was able to find one, but it's so cute and adorable. So I, if anybody likes smalls, you know, these are really cute to sit on shelves and stuff like that. Same with this. I thought this had a little chip on it right there, but no, that's just the way it's painted. It's like that on both sides. It's a cute little donkey toothpick holder. So that came home with me. He's adorbs. I'm gonna have another small sale, I think. And then this cute little poodle, absolutely stinking adorable. It's missing its a mama. Maybe it was a baby and it was attached to its mama. I don't know, but it's cute. Cute little project piece. This, oh, it's a necklace is tangled up in it here. Give me one second here. Get out of there. There we go. This cute little owl picture holder with the jeweled eyes. I thought that was adorable. So that. This necklace, it's a vintage beaded necklace. So I have a jewelry bag. I'll probably put that in. Um, This cute little cup. It's got a bunny on it. I thought that'd be cute for spring just to sit out, you know. I don't know. Sit on a shelf. It's a small, so... I picked it up. A little treasure troll. Cute. That'll go into a treasure bag, actually. Um, these are adorable. These are little tags, vintage tags. Oh, there's a few of them in there. There we go. Oof. They're adorbs. So those might go into a treasure bag. Um, I did pick up some marbles. Some older marbles. So those will probably, I'll just stick into my um, gumball machine. I stick, my, I, I have three gumball machines and two of them are filled with marbles and one of them is filled with game pieces. And then I picked up this set. Uh, thank you so much to my friend for hiding this. Josh, you are absolutely awesome and amazing. Um... So yeah, he was there the day before the day I didn't go and seen these in the glass bins and thought I might like them. And so he hid them for me <laughs> and they were still there. So that's pretty cool. They're art, it's, they're glass and they're beautiful. I've never seen a cream and sugar set like that. It's like art glass. So those are fun. And I picked up some scratch and sniff stickers. If you find a whole bunch of these, these can sell for really good money online. The vintage scratch and sniff, scratch, scratch and sniff stickers. There you go. So I only was able to find one sheet. I might just go ahead and put this into a treasure bag since I was only able to find one. I picked up this cute little vintage golden book and I don't pick these up a lot, but I, this one I couldn't leave behind. It is an older one. As you see, there's no barcode, but look at the illustrations on the inside. You guys, these are just absolutely fantastic. So if you craft 
or um, you know, make journals out of these golden books, this one would be a really, really cute, perfect one. Or just to sit it out in your vintage Christmas display. It's it's cute. I love that. So that book came home with me too. I picked up this little wooden box. It's really cute on the inside. It's lined and it's inlaid. So that's really, really pretty. I like that one. And it's labeled on the bottom too. So that's pretty cool. Then I picked up this. It's a cute little, um, I love music. It's just a pin. It'll go into a treasure bag. I thought that was cute and adorable. I picked up this. I had a nice lady give this to me. So, yes, beautiful, beautiful art glass piece. You guys know that I love my art glass so much. And look, it's white, pink, and blue. Perfect for spring. It's like cotton candy. I love it. So, that glass picture, picture came home with me. This vintage Santa she also gave me. So thank you so much. It's so cute and adorable. It's like a paper mache Santa. I love him. I don't know why he has a hole in his mouth. What's that for? But it is cute. Um, then Josh also hid this for me. So thank you, Josh. It is an art glass duck. I got you guys know that I love my art glass so much. Um, it doesn't even have to be expensive glass. I just love art glass. I think it's so pretty and I like the quality and look at the design. It's so cute. It's an art glass duck. So sitting down like that, it's beautiful. And then I picked up the last thing in the first sack is a toothpick holder. A little owl toothpick holder so this will be in a small sale probably okay moving on to sack number two the good the goody goods so i picked up this bag it's all um it has a bunch of like different eyeballs in there like crafting you know if you like to replace things there's different look at these eyeballs see all kinds of different eyeballs and noses and stuff like that. And there's even some small ones. So, I sometimes find ceramic pieces that are missing eyes. These come in handy. I don't know if I'm going to keep them or sell them. We'll see. I did find one tiny little metal sea urchin wall decor. So, this is really cute and adorable. It's just a small one. Perfect for a gallery wall. These I picked up. The nice lady also gave me these. These are vintage um, goodie boxes. Look at them. They're so stinking cute and kitschy and adorable. Brand new in the package. Never opened. So really fun vintage Christmas. And then my friend Carol found this um, vintage coffee tin. I like picking up the vintage coffee tins. And this one is really unique. I've never seen the that top before. I've never seen it with that top. <laughs> so I thought that was really cool. Okay, we're getting to the good stuff. Let's see what I have wrapped up in here. I wrapped up quite a bit of things. So I found this beautiful, beautiful vintage hair receiver piece. It is absolutely stunning and gorgeous. I love the colors. Um, look at the design and it, there's no chips or cracks. It is beautiful. I take that back. One little tiny flea bite right there. It's even really kind of hard to see, but yeah, this was a good piece and that's what it's marked on the bottom. I've never seen it. I've never seen this piece before. So I thought that was really cute and adorable. Nice hair receiver. And then... I picked up this. My friend Betty found this and gave this to me. Absolutely love it. Look at the Santa. So stinking cute. It is a, um, a music box and the little bears spin and dance. 
They're so cute. And look, it is a Lefton. It is a vintage Lefton Christmas music box. So no chips or cracks. Definitely picked that guy up. Now my favorite, favorite thing. My jaw literally hit the floor. Okay, so they brought out new glass bins. I didn't see this. I did not see this piece. It must have been laying down on the other side uh, that I didn't see because I was just standing there and I wasn't finding a whole lot, you know, of stuff in the glass bins. And then a guy reached over and he had to be this. And I'm like, are you giving that to me? And he said, yeah. OMG, it is a beautiful, beautiful Viking glass swung vase. Absolutely stunning. It is dusty. It needs a little bit of cleaning, but yes, yes. Come on. I cannot believe that. I was so happy and it was Valentine's Day and I was like, you literally just made my Valentine's Day. That is absolutely awesome and amazing. This is probably one of my favorite things that I have ever got out of the Goodwill bins, which I've got lots of, I say that quite often, but this is stunning. Look at those colors. It is a color that you do not see very often at all. Beautiful. I love this. So that was so exciting. That made my day. And that's not all, you guys. I still got some really good things. So I... Ooh, careful, Missy. I can't believe this guy was still in there. He was in the older bins that people had already looked in um, from the night before. Look at his face. He is an older guy. He is definitely, definitely an older Santa. Um, he does have a little bit of wear on his mitten right there, as you can see. And his beard has some wear. You know, it needs to be, like, re-glued on. It's, see, <laughs> he needs some help. But there is no way in heck that I was going to leave this Santa behind, this vintage Santa. He is amazing, you guys. Look at that face. I don't know who makes him. I don't know. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research, but he's really, really cool. I didn't see any tags or markings, but I didn't look the best either. So I was excited about him. And then I also found a big hug mug. These are good ones to find. Um, I'll put comps and stuff up here so you guys can see, but it is the FTD big hug bouquet. I can't remember what this was on. It was on a show or a movie or something. You guys can comment below and let me know because I know you guys will know, but it's a big hug bug. <laughs> and then I picked up this beautiful, beautiful owl. Um, I think it's fused glass because it is painted on the inside. Like it's not painted on the outside. It's, that's inside the glass is where it's painted and then so it won't ever be able to scratch like you won't ever be able to scratch the paint off because it's inside and it's owls it's a beautiful glass platter absolutely stunning and gorgeous and i love it i didn't see a peggy car signature um it did have a von mar sticker and i it was like kind of ripping off so i went ahead and tore that one off but i love it super cool and then I thought this was adorable, perfect for springtime. It's a little pull wagon and the wheels do move. It's a wooden chicken with baby chickies on there. Stinking cute. And it is marked on the bottom, um, a different drummer. So I just thought that was pretty neat folk art, folk art piece, kind of, sort of, sort of. I picked up this for a friend. I am going to send this to one of my friends as a gift because it says sisters on there. So if you watch this video, um, you probably know who you are. Um, you will be getting this as a gift because it reminded me of you. <laughs> and then... Okay, so 
this is full. This is a pulley, but inside is a bunch of stuff. So this beaded, I don't know if it's a gla glasses case or what it's supposed to hold, but it's really cute and vintage and beaded. So that's going in a treasure bag. This is gonna go into a Smalls sale. This is a vintage um, Hawaii toothpick holder. So stinking cute, very kitschy. Um, there is three, is the other one? The other one's right here. There's a set of three of these owls. There's a big one, a medium one, and then a baby. And these two have their stickers on them. This one, the small one, it's came off as you can see, but aren't they cute? So cute. So that set of three owls. This little coin purse, owl coin purse, that will be going in a treasure bag. I thought that was cute and adorable. A little shoe with birds on it, shoe set <laughs> with birds on it. It's like a souvenir piece. That's going in a treasure bag. This little doctor dog. He's going to go into a treasure bag. Another little sh shoe set with birds on them. And a cute little pottery chicken. It's adorable. That'll go into a treasure bag. And here is the pulley set. Now, this is cool. This is, you can put this outside, inside, whatever you want. Um, but it is a wooden pulley on a rope, and then it's got potted plants. I only, I weighed this and it only weighed a pound, and so I was like, yeah, I'm not, that's pretty cool for, especially with spring coming up and stuff. Um, if people like to plant flowers and stuff like that, I thought this would be really perfect. So that's a really cool piece. I thought so anyway. And then I found a ton, a ton of linens, you guys, tons. Okay, so Betty gave me one hanky, found one hanky. This little embroidered piece, it's got stains on it. A lot, I don't wash this stuff, so I, I know the stains can come out with OxyClean, so that's why I pick stuff up with stains, um, because I appreciate the time and effort that went in. I was like, what is that? It's a... Uh, macrame owl. <laughs> um, but yeah, I appreciate the time and effort that went into embroidering all these pieces. This is a table runner. This one is, um, this is a pillow case. Really cute butterflies. Which I might do a pillowcase lot because I have a whole bunch of linens I need to get sold. This is brand new, still in its package. They're crib sheets, but aren't they so adorable? Look at these. Brand new, never opened, and they are so stinking cute. So, so, so cute. I love them so much. Country Sunshine. They're Dundee. It's so cute. <laughs> And so many bags of linens. Okay, so this, I'm not going to take them all out because they're all embroidered and stuff, but there's tons. There's a whole bag of that, like three bags of different tea towels. Like all, they're all full. And they're all embroidered. This one, I should have put one on the outside so you guys could see. And then I didn't do that with this one either. <laughs> I don't know why. But they're all full of embroidered tea towels. So that is my haul, guys. I got all that stuff for only $34. I think I did quite well, especially with the beautiful Viking glass vase. So exciting. So yeah, what do you guys think? How do you think I did? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found this time out of the Goodwill bins. And as always, if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. 
all lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is also in the description below as well. And I can let you know if I will sell it outright or if it will be available in a live sale. Most everything that you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you go subscribe right now and hit that bell button, you'll get a notification every time I go live and when I post new videos. Um, lately, I've been having live sales on Saturday evenings too, so um, they're a lot of fun. So go subscribe right now. It helps my channel out, and plus it helps you out to get notified. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. It was a great day. Um, again, happy Valentine's Day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.